Okay, hey everybody. I think we're live. I think we're ready to go. And today we are going to be using our thermal cinch and making four books. So I went ahead and did the unboxing. I don't think the unboxings are super fun. Literally haven't used it. I turned it on for two seconds. It made two beeps and I turned it off. So instead of our regular Gemini 2, I have just to right over there, I have our thermal cinch set up. As well, instead of our usual catalog camera, we have this cutter and um, just some stuff over here on my extra table that I brought out just for the occasion. It was already out. I used it for sewing, but for today it's helping us make books. And then on the main table, we have our first two books and a stack of paper. So let's switch over to the full screen. Here we go, okay. <laughs> so I plan to do three books, as you can see in my note page here. Let me scooch this over a little bit. Um, in our note page, I made a note about what books I wanted to make. I wanted to make a notebook, an art journal, and um, this 2023-2024 style ideas, which we'll see in a little bit. I have decided to switch this up and make two separate notebooks. So one is going to be this notebook, which kind of goes through my YouTube stuff. And then another notebook that just goes through regular notes. I thought we would start off by making these. Now I'm going to flip over to our Gemini, which is really our thermal cinch today. And I'm gonna read the instructions, plug in machine and flip switch on side panel. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so it'll start to heat up. Blinking light will beep when the machine is ready. Place book in machine and press timer. Blinking light will beep when the book is ready. Remove book and let cool from holder for five minutes. Okay, so we'll make these two books and then we'll work on the two other books. And I also pulled a bunch of paper from my stash. And I'll just put those over here and we'll go back over here to fill out my notebooks. Now you might be saying, Lisa, it's like crazy paper. And it's a lot of Anna Griffin paper. Um, I got some of her boxes and I've never done like the projects. I really got them more for the dies. And so I just have a bunch of this really beautiful paper that I want to do fun stuff with. And as you can see, I was so excited today. I started writing notes on the paper already and um, it works out fine. Even this really busy paper, I'm still able to like find places to put stuff. And it's just, it looks so cool. So I like it. Also, one last thing before we get started, let me show you over here. Now this is one of our books for later, but I did want to show you, I already grabbed from this 12 by 12 inch acetate paper. See, it? you can put it on the front of books. I think this might be a card, but they showed it as you can put it on the front of books. And so I'm excited and I cut that out for three of the books already trying to save time and let's do fun stuff <laughs> so that's that's where we are so and so if you see kind of some paper flopping around acetate that's what that is now oh it's already ready and i am not oh my gosh okay so we're gonna make some books and we need to fill up this quarter of an inch and the glue will seat down so that's what we need to do I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put this as the front page. I don't know. I don't know if I love that. Maybe we could do like something like that. I don't know. I think I might save these for the art journal. Then I've got some really fun ones and I know these are six by six, but I figured we could put them in and that would just be fun. So let's put that one there. 
we'll put this one in here. We'll save these for the other book. This would be a great note page. This is going to be too busy for notes, so I'm going to put it over here. Another great note page. Notes, notes, more notes. I really love this page. I may put this in the art book. And then notes and notes. Save these over here. Let's look. Sorry, I'll put it up a little bit. I have some of these dark colored cards, but they might still be fun. I can just use like white or gel pens. I'll do two or three. Then I also have a few of few more papers. Let's grab this one here, this one here. Just kind of going random. Here we go. Now we'll grab a few of these card stocks. So we'll do one of those. Oh, this will be a great one. One of those. I think this one, actually, I, I'll do it. We'll do it. We'll go wild and crazy here. Not afraid of a little fun. I've already used this one, so I'm definitely fine with that. Um, oh, look how beautiful. This one isn't going to work because of all the writing. So I'm going to skip this one, and it's really pretty. I'll use it for something else, I'm sure. We'll grab this one. Uh, I don't know. Not that one. This one. <laughs> Just going through this really pretty cardstock as fast as I can. And let's see if we just kind of... Maybe one or two more and will probably be good, honestly. Do this one. Actually, I think I already used that one over here. So pull that back. These are kind of boring. I don't know about this one. Ooh. Let's go with something a little bit easy and be right here. Okay. And I'll just pull all these and put them back. Although we didn't use this gold, but I'm okay with that. We can save the gold for other fun things. And I'm going to scooch this over, put it back for a minute. And let's, now that we have this book, let's do this book first. And this is just our regular notes. So you can see I already have some notes about everything I need to do to start working on my 2024 taxes. Nothing PII related, but just... My tasks, you can also see I have some other life tasks I need to do and my planning for my Alaska trip, which is coming up and I'm very excited about. So <laughs> tracking everything there. Here we go. And this will be our very front. So we'll put that there. And I think I'd like a page on top of this one, but I'd definitely like one of the larger ones. Oh, this one might be really nice. I'm thinking the purple with the green. And we've got a little green that kind of matches. Actually, I think that's going to be nice. And this with the foil is going to be hard to write on. So it'll be a nice front, but we can still use the back. Although I may flip it over because that looks a little more pleasing. Okay, so let's start there. Then I'll go ahead and just put the two pages I've already started. Let's go ahead and grab one of our six by six papers. Randomly grab it. <laughs> we'll put it on the top. Then let's switch over to this one. Add another six by six. We'll put it near the bottom. And let's flip it. Let's go the more easy side in front. Just going for what we're going for, I guess. Pull another paper. I really tried to get most of it done before you guys joined, but I thought this picking out the papers might be fun. I didn't want to do everything. Let's see. 
this one. Let's stuff this one in between. And I think that'll be cool that way. Add this one, maybe to the bottom. There we go. I don't think that's too directional. Yeah, maybe there. And let's go here. We'll add this bad boy. Oh, maybe should have trimmed that one down, but it'll be fine. Here. We'll go like this. Almost done. And last but not least is this one. And there we go. Okay. So put that to the side. The next thing we need to do is put the binding on, which I've already cut down. And I trimmed it along the edge. There was about a quarter of an inch that didn't have glue. So I went ahead and cut it down because I feel like you should need glue right up to the edge. But maybe I'm going to regret that and the glue is going to soak out. I just don't know. And then I cut it at the top. And that obviously has glue right there. So we'll see. Who knows, I could have completely messed everything up, but what can you do? Next, we're gonna, I'm, this may completely fail. So I've never done this before. I didn't do a test anything. Peeling off the sticker. Let's go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna lean this to the very edge that I can. Try and line it up. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it worked. I got it. No need to freak out. And then we're going to kind of tap it down. Lean this over. And actually, we want it th uh, this way up. Put this in. Oh, I think I just got it just just in maybe I cut this slightly wrong I don't know <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna fake it like I did everything perfectly and there's, it's not slightly messed up <laughs> oh and the other thing that we have and I don't know if we need it I don't think we need it the little clippy thing I think we're fine now let me switch over and we've got this it's heated up Place book in the machine and press the timer. Okay. Place book in the machine. Press the timer. Okay. So that's going. <laughs> we will, um, for just right now, I'm going to size this down. And you guys can still see. Now this is the one that I'm going to write notes on. And we will start putting this book together. Okay. Oh, no. It has this little issue. And I meant to go get my scissors. And I have <laughs> I have so many scissors. And they're always lost. Well, we'll just put this on the back. And nobody will notice. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. We'll put it like that. I think all these should come out when I pull the sticker off. So. Next thing we have, we have the cover, which while we're doing it, let's go ahead and just make sure all these come out. As I pull this out, it did not. They did not all come out because why would they? That would be way too easy. I got most of it done beforehand, but maybe if I just like sticky, sticky, no. That's just going to make it unsticky. Oh, this was such a mistake. I should have popped them out first. I was just so busy. Okay, here. We'll go this way. We'll go finger on the sticky side. 
push it through. Okay, there we go. We found our rhythm. Oh, also, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna talk to you guys. I came up with ideas to talk about, and I've just been so focused on doing this and doing it right. I haven't talked to you. Oh, our cinch, our cinch is done. Ah, so give me two seconds. Let's go back over here. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna put it over here and let it rest for five minutes. Okay. 720, we can pick it back up. Now, overhead, we'll go back to all overhead. Finish this. Give me two seconds. All these little dots are on my fingers. Okay, so my first question for this live was what do you need to get creative? So for me, it's having an organized workspace. If I don't have an er organized workspace, it just drives me crazy and I can't do anything. So if you have something that you really need to be able to be organized or know what you're doing, let me know in the chat. Maybe I can see the chat. Maybe I have lost the chat. I may have lost the chat. Okay. Usually it's here, and I did not notice it. I am sorry. Okay, if you put it in the chat, I will look at it in a little while. I'm so sorry if you've been putting stuff in the chat. Oh, that's so upsetting. Okay, well, we'll keep going. So let me know in the, ch in the chat, <laughs> even though I can't see it right now. Again, I cut it right along the edges there. Um what you need because for me if everything's super messy I just can't enjoy making a mess I that sounds crazy I also like to take a shower before I start cleaning I like to be clean when I clean I don't know why don't ask me so let's stick I think this one on top and you can see here I have some other YouTube live ideas I'm starting also, here's my items for today. Just in case you want to know, the next YouTube Live is Sunday, February 11th. And we're going to look at the Anna Griffin, Griffin Anniversary Stamp Set. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, don't worry, there's plenty more books to be made, which you can see here. Here are all my ideas for all the books that I want to make. And I still have plenty of room for more ideas. So those will definitely be happening uh, just not quite today or next time. Uh, let's start putting in some pages. Here we go. One. Um, let's put this one. This one will be cute here. There we go. Actually, let's do it backwards. Let's do that way. Um, now she can live in nice flowers. So I think that's what, oh, look how beautiful that is. I want to definitely put that one in. But let's do maybe this one, this night scene. That'll be pretty. And we can do this beautiful one right here. Add in our beautiful swans, maybe on this blue. We've got the green, so maybe this dark one. With the dark, we should go dark again. Maybe some bees. This one, bees. There we go. And we'll end with that one. That's perfect. So let's scooch those up a bit. Pull this out. I'm going to find those little dots everywhere forever. And very carefully stick this down. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And right when I put this in, we can take a look at the other one. Okay. 
that looks pretty good to me. And it seems like I've got it just the right amount of fullness, but we will see because I could have messed everything up. That is entirely plausible. But I don't know that I love that one being the front. So let's grab one more random paper from somewhere in this stack. Because there has to be something. Uh, how about this nice, pretty green one? I can always write notes on it. But, oh yeah, that's way better. Way better. Okay. Now... We're going to switch to see our other camera and place book in the machine. Press timer. Okay. It didn't do a ding, but I think it should be good. Okay. So that's going. I'm going to scooch that down again, and I'll try and go over here. Okay. So we did it. We have a book. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, the glue kind of came up, but that's okay. We'll just have to kind of scooch it back. I don't know. They said it should lay flat. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Maybe it needs to cool a little bit more, but actually that's awesome. <laughs> we can write beautiful notes. Everything will be wonderful. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. And we're using thick cardstock, not just really cheap paper, so we can't fit quite as many. But look, you, even though I didn't use all the space, it's fine. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we did it. One book down. Now, this one, actually, I think I could have fit another page or two you might be able to see that at the front i think it's a little bit good to know um and we'll go ahead maybe we'll do like that that'll be perfect okay then today's date is 2 7 24 so we'll go where is a straight edge Let me pull this out and put it in the back and switch to overhead. If we're looking here, then use that as I did the end backwards. It shouldn't it, it might have should have been like that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I did the end backwards. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Uh, just ignore that I'm slightly dyslexic. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Uh, maybe I can doodle on here. So it'll be from 2, 7, 2024. 20, through and then whenever I finish I'll put the dates here oh my gosh I can't even believe that huh <sighs> okay and I'm gonna write on here Okay, I apologize. I cannot write and um, talk at the same time. That's just way too much for me. And I, I think I'm just going to have to redo this because that's going to bother me forever. Okay, um, then we'll go ahead and maybe do something different because I don't love how that one turned out anyway. So two, seven, twenty, twenty and then when we put the new date it'll be like boom 
and we'll go notes and we'll just keep it keep it nice and simple okay <laughs> well we did what we can do and we totally messed everything up but what <laughs> what are you going to do about that and we'll just glue it down There we go. And this should, this is the really nice glue, so it should stick forever. And I, I'll probably end up doodling on this so it'll look cool. It'll look fun. I also think I might need a doodle on here. But I can do that while I'm making notes. And I can just, oh, look at that. Now that it's kind of cooled even more, it does. It does lay down. Okay, one book done. Only a zillion dots on everything. Okay, next book. Oh, it did kind of, a little bit of glue did kind of come out. I don't know if you can tell that, but it did. <laughs> it did come out. Oh, that looks so good. I love that. Okay, and We've got it nice and filled out. So what I, I think I'll do is just put um, maybe like YouTube right here and then on the spine. And I'll probably do that off screen so you don't have to not listen to me again for, <laughs> for a while. Okay, let me grab this book. Oh, no. I forgot. It's all messed up. I did want to show, I since I cut them all out, I have these little spines left over with glue on them. And you can see here how at the end it doesn't have any glue, and I'm not real sure what that's about. Um, but I just kept them, and I figured I could make little books or, you know, line them up and make a couple, you know, to make a bigger book. I don't know. I thought I'd keep them. Little books would be cute. But here we go. Okay, so next one we're going to do is an art journal. And let's see. Have any notes about this? Oh, no, but I'm basically just going to use it. And each page is already going to have stuff on it. And so my goal is for each day to do something new. And that's, that's the whole goal. Even if I just put one thing in here you know, pick one, one page, do something on it. That's all I want. And so since we're doing that, I thought we would go ahead and make the cover today. So that'll be really cute. And I just grabbed some leftovers and we're just going to stick them down because I'm wild and crazy. Ah, okay, here we go. We'll ah, line that up in the corner. And of course, it's just slightly too little on the top. But what can you do? So I keep my scraps. I'm terrible. Probably don't need to keep every single scrap ever made. But I tend to do that, especially on things that I like that are really cool. I just, I like having pretty things. Oh my gosh, I, I'm going to have to do something along the top. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and so, but it does come in handy when you're doing stuff like this. And that is one thing I wanted to say is I am using nice cardstock in these books I'm going to put notes in. But I got rid of so much cardstock not like a year and a half ago. And I still have so much left that I just still haven't used. I've maybe used... 10 to 20 pieces of cardstock since I got rid of a ton. And so I'm just kind of like, well, let's go ahead and use what I have. And I can always buy more. <laughs> I can always get, get more, do something fun with it. Let's just enjoy it for now. So this is those Anna Griffin stamps that I was talking about that we're going to 
take a more in-depth look on um, next Sunday, but I thought we would use this one right here now. And I'm kind of getting into the Valentine's Day holiday spirit, so let's pick a pink to go ahead and stamp one of these down. We will see what we're going to be working with on Sunday. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And did I get that straight? Almost. This one's all perfectly aligned, so it's pretty easy to get straight. And I'm just going to wipe it off since I haven't ever used it. Wipe it off with our fingers there. And try and get some nice ink coverage. Ooh, it's going to be very tone on tone. I'm hoping it'll show up. And there we go. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, let's do one more. It's what they are is they're supposed to be continuous, so you can kind of repeat a pattern. And I thought this way might be the easiest to just kind of line it up with our stamp and pick it up. And actually, for the first try ever, that turned out halfway decent. So, awesome. Put this over here. Put it back. I guess while we're starting, and I promise I did so much work setting up for this, and then, of course, one thing I didn't check is the chat, and I've lost that, and I have no idea how to pull it back. Um, but my next question was, is how do you take notes? Digitally or handwritten? I kind of do a mix. I prefer the handwritten, but so much of my job is writing notes and stuff for the client and things that need to be shared with people. I tend to take those kind of notes digitally. So it, for me, it's a mix. Um, let's see. Okay. That is too cute to be born. Then we'll add this little guy here. And I think I'll put this one here. And we'll go ahead. I grabbed the pen. Yes. Here we go. I grabbed this Spectrum Noir metallic paint marker in Champagne. It came in uh, the Mermaid Dreams limited edition collector set thing. And I really, I love these kind of pens. So they're like oil based and they just cover everything. So maybe art, I'm going to put art and then I have a stamp that says journal that I'll probably get out later. So Okay, perfect. And then I'll just, eh. <laughs> just go ahead and do it. There we go. If you want to be super professional about it, you can print on it or um, I would probably use my Cricut Maker and just perfectly do everything. But I am not in the let's be perfect today kind of feeling right now, to be 100% honest. I'm in the let's just have fun. And maybe I need something to kind of cover up that top. So maybe let's just go ahead and use some washi tape. I also have tape like that but I think that's a little too in your face and I'm looking for something more don't look here I made a mistake kind of feeling so I'm gonna go ahead and use this washi tape and I'll just trim that down does that now look stupid 
Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's one of those can't win kind of weeks. Here we go. Perfect. And last. We'll go for the top again. Okay. Ah, that's better. I'll cut off. Less clearly, you just didn't go all the way to the top. And I think once we kind of hide it behind a lot of this other stuff, it'll be okay. Don't love that the colors doesn't really bring in this blue. The green's kind of fighting that blue. I don't know. Let's go with it. We'll, we'll, we'll make do. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe if I do it this way. Let's try. Oh, yeah, actually, I think that looks better. So. It's fine, Lisa. It's fine. I'm at one of those, like, I hate it, everything now. But it's fine. We're going to go with it. If, you know, we still hate it in a couple of days, I can just come back and update it, fix it. Is that not what crafting is? <laughs> and there we go. Maybe I'll, like, draw along the edges or something. And, yeah, kind of off. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just put some of this on. And I meant to get some ribbon out so I could put this one with a bookmark. But, of course, I did not do that because why would I be fully prepared? Just mostly prepared. There we go. And once I'm finished, I can write in the details on this. I'll put the date here in a little while, but there, and that'll be our cover. Actually, I don't hate that. I'm gonna leave it and I might come around and do something on the edges like tomorrow. But for now, I'm actually fine with that. Oh my gosh, am I just like the biggest idiot in the world? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so let's <laughs> let's move over here, and what we're going to do is cut this down a little bit on the front, <laughs> because that just needs to happen. So we're just going to cut it down a half inch, and see what that does for us. Okay. Is that going to be enough? Mm, I think it will be. Oops. It is giving me an error, so let me just double check. Okay. It, it's getting an error that I'm not sending enough video, so we'll we'll quickly get through this one, and then um, I can save the other book for another day if needed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this and go ahead and put this cover on. Since I cut off a lot of the glue, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Add some more glue. And there we go. Okay. Okay, not the most hideous thing I've ever seen in the world. Maybe not the best looking. I am going to have to come and take some scissors to that, though. Oh, my goodness. There. 
that'll work. And then maybe we just come back over here and trim this up. There we go. Okay. And while we're here, let's just go ahead, trim the very edge of that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a beautiful book cover that's going to be slightly smaller than everything else, but what can you do? Okay. So, like I said on this, my goal is to just have some fun, different things on the inside. And I pulled out these two watercolor coloring book photos. Let's pull a few of these things back in. We've also got these bags from Jane Davenport. When I bought some stuff from her, I just thought they were really cute. So let's use that. Here's another one. Here's a vellum piece. I thought that was really cool. Here are some other six by six pages. Let's go ahead and put this one in. Oh, I like that one. Here we go. I'm gonna have to make some more books because I got all this paper. I thought I was just gonna tear through all this paper and of course, of course, no. <laughs> why would I think that? Why would why would that happen? Let's maybe grab this one. Add this here. Oops. Here we go. Maybe this pink. It'll be cute. Purple one. Ah! And I've thrown everything on the floor. Um, how about this one? Let's put in this, this one. Maybe, there we go. That one's nice. Let's go that way. Um, I don't know about that one. Let's go here. Uh, let's pick a gold paper. That'll be fun. And I don't know, just a random, random page, man. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with that one here. We need to make sure she gets in. Is it probably three more pages? Okay. What do we want on the back? Let's do this one and maybe let's do it this way. Well, I don't think that goes very well with the gray. Maybe, oh my gosh, this is too high pressure. Okay, that'll be fine. And let's do one, one more page probably. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that's perfect. Sorry, give me two seconds. Put all this over to the side. Our next question is, what types of books are you planning on making? So I have some really fun ideas, which we can look at in just a second. Um, but let me get this one in and started. So let's pull this. Actually, I think we can do the final book because it won't take very long and we have an excellent connection right now. So, okay, I think that worked. Let's go ahead and do, oops. The Gemini. Okay. And I did get the chat back up. So 
Here we go. I've got this all ready. I think we're ready to go. All organized, okay. Let's put this in. And I think I should have put that on. That would have been cute. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the timer. And we're ready to get started on our next book. But, oh, let me pull this all up. There we go. While we do that, I did thought, think I would show you. I have started mapping some books. So one of my th things I'm going to do next is for my stencils, I think I'm going to try and organize them in a book. But using plastic sleeves and putting all the stencils and making just a large book. A couple, it'll take a couple large books, but I think that'll work. Then, let's see, card project ideas. I think that would be a great little notebook uh, for sewing, like a needle book that you can put the needles in and save them for later. And I can write out all, all what needles I should be using for which projects. Upcoming projects, finished projects, completed project reviews, my received cards because I never know what to do with those just so many ideas that I have that I've already already started working on okay last but not least by far we have this project and what this is is I sew that's one of the other things I do and I like to draw out what it's going to look like. So I have a picture of me that I've colored gray and I just draw out exactly what I'm going to to make or as, as closely as I can. So I thought this would be really fun as a book. So here we go. Here are some of my upcoming projects, and you can see here I I try different things. I'm like, oh, which one should I do? Here you can see, should I go with like a nude color fabric or should I go with black? And I've got a lot of these already drawn up, and I've been keeping them in little plastic sleeves, but I think I would like to keep them in a book, and that way I can make new books you know i have lots of things the one thing i didn't tell you is i also have a style guide and that's what we're coming to next so here we go putting these in order as i'm going so here you can kind of see this is what lisa should wear when and why um so there's a lot that went into making this five pages but it helps me um, kind of figure out. So for example, I'm what's called a soft dramatic. And these are the type of clothes I should wear because of that. I'm also a bright spring. <laughs> so that affects things. And then kind of what, what are my style roots, essence map, just all of that. And that really helps me decide kind of how I'm going to dress and why. See, there we go. And that gets through almost all of those. I'm almost done pulling these all out. I wish I had like some page protectors I could add in that would fit really well for some photos, but I don't. Um, so we're just going to skip that for now. You can see also that I'm literally wearing this shirt that I made. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I haven't ever made these pants, but, cause I thought it was a little much together. Um, and then I also have a few started drawings and a bunch of not started drawings that will all go in this beautiful book together. Then I can just all keep it together. And when I run out, I'll make a whole new book and it'll be a whole new level of fun. So there we go. 
this all together and we're going to start the book with this soft dramatic. Oh my goodness, I didn't pick out a back. That's the issue. Okay. Well, let's see. We are, I have done the acetate to the front again, and I picked out this beautiful 12 by 12 page. And what I'm going to do, and I won't do it on stream because I don't have enough time, but I will decorate this. And I'm going to, I have a stamp and I stamped her down in some very light amalgam ink. And except for her head, which I did darker, then I drew out with some pencil this design and used some marker, a pigment marker, so that I can use um, my Copic markers on this. And I'll color this all in. I'll fussy cut her out. And I'll put it like that and add my title like here. That's my goal for the front. But I'm not going to get to that today on the stream. But that's just know that's my plan. And we've got this. I've, of course, done that. And I did not pull a spine out. Okay. <laughs> well, I may go ahead and stop here then. Well, we can look at this last book that we created. And... Um, I'll finish this book offline because I don't have the back. I need to get the back. I need to get the spine and, um, to really get that one done, but I'll show it on the next stream. Um, but here is our art journal. So each day I can just pick a new page and do something simple, something complex. It doesn't matter. Um, very cool. I am so excited. So again, remember that on Sunday, we're gonna go through those Anna Griffin anniversary stamp set at 7 p.m. Um, Central Time. So make sure you calculate what that is where you are. And we'll take a look and have a lot of fun with these. And don't worry, we will be making more books. So definitely subscribe if you haven't done that. So you won't miss a thing. I hope you guys have a very crafty day. Bye.